what's good everybody it is ace here back with another pops video for you guys yesterday we went one and one in our picks i told y'all guys to go light and bane he we took uh under 12 and a half ra and he did hook us that was crazy he um let me find the play we took under 12 and a half ra and it looked good it was very very close at the end i gotta find the play it was somewhere here it was very very close at the end he had like 12 ra with five minutes left and then Kyrie missed this three and then bane got the rebound and then the next play like right after the rebound he got an assist and he got his 13th ra and then he just had 13 so he just hooked us but i did say go light because they weren't the two best plays yesterday's board was kind of trash but <clears throat> in the discord we did go off today so you remember guys how i was telling you guys about when you join lifetime premium you guys get the optimizer the daily um dgf optimizer uh you get access to, to my plays that i post there so with this with the new prices that start friday remember guys friday friday new prices um i did say lifetime gets exclusive props and slips from the plus ev daily grind fantasy optimizer which is 60 dollars a month value well we did two taco pairs from the optimizer and we cast both of them we had myron amy over one and a half threes college hoops and then uh, we had Braden Smith under five rebounds, but then there was another one that I posted. It was this one. Anthony Davis under two and a half blocks. He didn't get a single block until 50 seconds left in the game. Um, so yeah, that was sweat free cash. We also had a few other slips that we cashed, some hockey from the optimizer. Uh yeah, so the optimizer made made a few units today. So when we have, you know, when we have a decent day on prize picks, because I posted more than just those two or actually no i just posted those two plays in the channel um and then you know obviously bane hooks us like that so that sucked i did go light on those half a unit only but you know on days like that where, where we have some bad luck we get some good luck from the optimizer so yeah um optimizer went crazy today and that cashed us out a good good bit so remember guys new prices are going into effect friday so if you do want to cop one month for 15 dollars, you can cop one month for 15 dollars of the starter membership which you can pause the video and check the check the perks there for the starter membership you can get one month of that for 15 dollars up until friday and then once friday rolls around these three memberships are the new prices and also lifetime is currently only two hundred dollars is it'll it will be 250 on friday but up until friday it'll be 200 dollars. so that's 20 percent off i've already had like 10 of you guys uh cop that 20 percent off deal for lifetime at 200 dollars. so uh yeah but let's get into some props for you guys i think i have like three three four props for you guys two two prize picks two chalkboard our first prop is going to be Stephen Curry under six and a half assists. So um, we know the injury report. Draymond is out and Chris Paul is also out. Um, so, yeah, that does like on paper, Stephen Curry, you know, Chris Paul out and Draymond out. You, you do think that uh, that's you know, I don't want to take his under assist with both of those guys out. He's only played one game where both of them were out and he had six assists. Um, without without Draymond Green this season, he's only averaging four and a half assists without Draymond this season. And then without Chris Paul, he did have two games in the beginning of the season that were that he did go off on assists. And then his last two games, he went under. But if we look at Court IQ, you know, a great website that I love to check my props on. If we look at per 36 minutes with Chris Paul and Draymond Green off the court, Stephen Curry is only averaging 4.73 assists per um, 4.73 assists per 36 minutes that Chris Paul and Draymond are off the court. And obviously both of those guys will be off the court for this game. So that is very, very below. He's going to need seven to chalk us on that under. And in the last 30 days, the Pelicans are allowing the... 11th least assists per game to point guards so they've been a pretty, pretty they're a really good defense so you know scoring on them in general is just going to be tough and point guards getting assists hasn't been the easiest matchup against the pelicans so tough matchup he really doesn't get many assists per 36 minutes with paul and draymond off the court you would think he would but only 4.73 and he needs seven to chalk us because this is an under 
and yeah this game could be a blowout the spread is very very close so vegas does not think this could be a blowout but i'm thinking that this could definitely be a blowout pelicans have a really tough defense and the warriors defense is absolutely awful so yeah uh, our next prop is going to be actually i'll have three three prize picks props for you guys um our next prop is going to be Dejounte murray over 15 and a half first half pra which is um you know we've been taking this a lot on the channel we've been taking this a lot in the discord so you guys are very familiar with the write-up you guys know that this man has been a wagon ever since deandre hunter has been out for the atlanta hawks if we go ahead and check his first half pra at 15 and a half without deandre hunter he's gone over this line in nine out of 11 games and as you guys know he is a road warrior with this prop this is actually a home game for Dejounte. he's gone over in two out of four of those games but he's averaging 16 and a half first half pra he did have a very bad first half against oklahoma but he had a very good second half against them which is not like Dejounte. as as you guys know if you guys have watched the video Dejounte is way better in the first half so pretty outlier game there but um I'm still liking the prop regardless of whether it's at home or at the road. If it's on the road, it's just even better, more confidence. But if it's at home, I still like it. You could go like half a unit on this if, if you're a little bit scared about the home logs or you could fade it. It's all up to you. But he's averaging 17.8 first half PRA per game without DeAndre Hunter. And also, he the last time he played Philadelphia at home this season was... Um, wow, he only had eight first half PRA. That was very interesting. I thought he had like 19. Okay, he had 19 on the road and then he had 8 at home. Both of those games were with DeAndre Hunter though. But yeah, if that does scare you guys, he's home. Um, against Philadelphia, you don't have to take it. It's all up to you, but I am personally taking this. So, another reason that I'm very much liking this prop. So, if we look at DeAndre Hunter's shot chart, first half shot chart, or sorry, DeJounte Murray's first half shot chart without DeAndre Hunter, he is averaging 55.6 field goal percentage um, from the court and also a 48.6 field goal percentage from three, which is very, very high. Um, so, he's been killing it in the restricted area. He's been killing it in the paint and he's been killing it from above the break threes. And Joel Embiid is out for this game. So that is a very, very huge component into this. Joel Embiid is out for this game. Uh, DeJounte Murray has eaten from the uh, restricted area. And without Embiid being back there to, you know, anchor the restricted area, it's, it's going to be tough to stop DeJounte. So DeJounte, he gets an even more favorable matchup with, with um, Embiid being out. And also he's been killing it in the paint as well. So that's an even more favorable matchup the 76ers have a defensive rating of 117.6 this season without Embiid which is actually the seventh worst defense in the league so without Embiid they are like the seventh worst defense on average this season which is very 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 bad obviously um, also a big component into this as well is that DeAnthony Melton is expected to be back in this game for the Philadelphia 76ers he's been out for probably like a week and a half due to injury well he is expected to be back and he is a shooting guard for the 76ers so he will be matched up with Dejounte murray and if we check a restricted area melton is average allowing a 74 percent field goal percentage against restricted area shots and i know it looks like he's in the middle of the team so you're like huh that looks weird well lofton he doesn't play ricky council doesn't play springer doesn't play martin doesn't play you got to look at the field goal attempted too because this shows how many um restricted area shots are actually being shot up on this player and if you look at melton he's allowing 14.7 so that's a very very high um, data point to look at and on those 15 almost 15 shots he's allowing from the restricted area he's allowing a 74 percent field goal percentage on those shots so that is very very high that's the third highest out of all players with 10 plus and that's the highest out of all starters so that's a very advantageous matchup in the paint he's been pretty good in the paint he's only allowing 40 percent Dejounte Murray has shot very very well in the paint though as we can see you on the shot chart so I mean this could be a, a, a matter of you know good defense better offense because Dejounte has just been nothing short or spectacular from the paint so but it is um, it is good to note that Mellon has been pretty good at defending that so Dejounte might not be his best self when it comes to that paint shot um, in the mid-range Mellon has allowed a very high field goal percentage 38 percent in the mid-range Dejounte really hasn't shot that many mid-range shots but when he does he's been pretty decent at it so he could maybe get like one or two 
on him. And then above the break three is what the main component of this prop is. DeAnthony Melton in his last 10 games is allowing a 41% three-point percentage against above the break threes. And as we can see, DeJounte has not been good in corner threes. He's been very, very good at above the break threes. He's averaging 48.6% from three in the first half without Hunter. And a lot of those misses are from the corner. So he's probably averaging about 50 plus percent from above the break three specifically in the first half without DeAndre Hunter. So he should take very much advantage of DeAnthony Melton in that um, above the break three scenario. And oh, look at that. Curry's been taken off the board. So Curry's been taken off the board. He is probably on sleeper. Let me check my phone real quick. I posted this in the discord like 10 minutes ago curry under so you know you got to be in the discord guys remember discord gets all the plays early i i post these videos after i post my props and i don't post all my props in the videos obviously but uh let me check if he is on sleeper for the sleeper people he is on sleeper his under assist is on sleeper and it's on chalkboard you're gonna get lesser lesser of a payout but he is on sleeper or in chalkboard if you guys do want to take that but you know prize picks obviously gets the value because they are a fixed payout system but yeah that's just another perk of being in the discord we get all the plays early another prop i'm liking is aaron neesmith over nine and a half first half pra so if we look if we go ahead and look at court iq indiana pacers tyrese halliburton is out for this game the star point guard for the pacers so that is a very very huge component as well we're gonna go ahead and look at uh tyrese halliburton off the court how the pacers play with that with Halley being off the court. So if we look at usage, Benedict Mather and I am waiting for his props. He is going to be um if they list him at a at a you know fairly fair price, then I will be taking him because he is just amazing with Halliburton off the court. But if we look at Aaron Neesmith, he's averaging 19% usage with Halliburton off the court, which is pretty good. He's usually like a 15, 16% usage guy. So his usage does go up a little bit with um Halliburton off the court. And as we see here, top usage percentage differentials he's actually gets the fourth most boost in usage on the pacers when halliburton is out so that's very very good um if we look at his field goal percentages with halliburton off the court i thought okay i gotta go to standard then look at that with his field goal percentage he's averaging a 50 almost 54 percent field goal percentage with halliburton off the court and his three point percentage goes up to all the way up to almost 49 percent from three with halliburton off the court so he actually gets a boost from three in a, in a in a good uh very high field goal percentage with halliburton off the court so it's not like you know halliburton is making him open he, he's he's been hitting his shots very very well with halliburton off the court so that's very good he is the starting small forward for the pacers the wizards are allowing the most points per game to small forwards and the most rebounds per game to small forwards and the most um, assists per game to small forwards in the last 30 days so his first half pra literally you cannot get a better matchup in the whole pra department uh besides the wizards most most points most rebounds and most assists so that's absolutely insane um, if we look at the second half, so in the Pacers' most recent game, obviously Tyrese Halliburton got injured, I believe, like with five, six minutes left in the second quarter or maybe a few minutes. So in the second half, they had to play the whole second half without Halliburton. So these were the minute share. This was the minute share without Halliburton in the second half. Neesmith had like the third or fourth most minutes in the team on the team in the second half with 15 and a half minutes. So if this game isn't a blowout, he should probably see like 30 minutes maybe um but you know this game very well could be a blowout that's why we're going first half so in first half he should see this 15 minute mark because he was able to see this in the second half and it was you know a close game in the first half i'm not expecting the pacers to be up by 30 by the second quarter right so he should be able to play like 15 14 to 16 minutes in the first half and this very well could be a blowout so that's why i do like that first half um protection so he should be able to see like 14 to 16 minutes and celtics were a very tough matchup celtics were allowing like the second least points to small forwards in the last 30 days and he was able to get um 12 pra and a half i know it wasn't the first half but it was the only half without halliburton for the whole half so that is pretty important um if we look at neesmith's shooting charts since if we look at um knee smith first half shot chart since december 1st if we look at his shot charts he's been pretty good in the restricted area pretty good in the paint but very very good in that corner 
very very good corner shooter and if we look at his last 10 games indiana pacers his last 10 games um he is shooting 42.3 percent from the corner three so that is very very high very very high and if we look at the wizards their last 10 games if we go to last 10 games the wizards are allowing the highest three point percentage against corner threes so neesmith's bread and butter is that corner three spot and he's just been killing it from there the wizards are allowing the most or the highest three point percentage from the corner in the last 10 day or 10 games so that's very advantageous he's also been very good in the restricted area and the wizards are allowing the seventh highest restricted area field goal percentage in the last 10 games so both of his hot spots um the wizards have been very very lackluster against so that is very good to hear um so that's a great matchup for him points rebounds assist wise and also just you know his spots his corner three and his restricted area the wizards are awful there no matter the position and they're very very bad position wise as well and if we look at his first half charts this season with halliburton out very very quickly if we go ahead and check that without Halliburton this season he's gone over in all three out of three games without Halliburton this season averaging 14.3 first half PRA per game and in his last two without Halliburton he's gotten like 16 first half minutes so um, like I said that that first half is he could get he could get like 16 minutes um, and that would be very very beneficial for him because if we look at his per minute stats you know I guys I like to check the per minute stats um, in for for first half props because you can't really uh, research first half props that well if we look at Neesmith's points he's averaging 0.54 points per minute with Halliburton out if we times that by 15 we get 8.1 and then if we look at his rebounds he's averaging 0.12 rebounds per minute we times that by 15 we add that up that's 9.9 .9. and then his assists he's averaging 0.3 0 0.03 times 15 add that you get 10.35 uh pra in 15 minutes and he probably will get like 16 minutes and this is the best matchup in the league it's not um obviously not advocating for the fact that it's the best matchup in the league so um yeah he should be able to hit that i like that prop a lot and then our last prop of the day is going to be a chalkboard prop um we have dejounte dejounte murray once again over one and a half threes so without deandre hunter he has gone over this line in nine out of 11 games he's averaging two and a half threes per game in that span without hunter and if we look at his home games dejounte murray's gone over in all four to four games without hunter at home this season averaging 3.3 threes per game in that span so he's been killing this 1.5 line he only needs two threes he's been averaging um 3.3 so that's amazing and if we look at dejounte murray's um splits this season and how he's shooting the three ball at home he is shooting 46 percent from three at home while only shooting 34 percent from three on the road so that's um, a little over 12 percent difference so almost a 13 percent difference actually so that's or no that's a little over 12 percent so that's very very good and that's 12.2 percent yeah 12.2 percent difference in three-point shooting just from home versus road split so that's very very good um, he's been shooting way better at home and this is another home game without let me just make sure that is another yep, another home game uh, without DeAndre Hunter as well has given him a boost and if we look at his last 10 home games in specific if we go to last 10 Atlanta Hawks and at home specifically he is shooting 62 and a half percent from three at above the break threes at home hunter is shooting better than him but hunter is out for this game so dejounte is shooting 62.5 percent from three at home at above the break threes in his last 10 home games that's absolutely insane and we've seen from his first half pra uh right up earlier in this video that above the break threes those are his bread and butter so he will be slinging the three ball and we saw uh, earlier in the first half PRA right up as well that Melton is al allowing a almost 41% three-point percentage against above the break threes highest on the whole 76ers team so not only is he just killing it from that that zone um, Melton is also just allowing a very very high three-point percentage against that zone in specific so very good matchup for him overall and he's been very good at home so four props for you guys we have DeJounte Murray over 15 and a half first half PRA Stephen Curry under six and a half assists, which was on prize picks, and I posted that like 15-20 minutes ago on the cord. 
before this video and you know it just got taken off while i was recording so you guys will have to take that on sleeper and underdog but i did lock that in on prize picks in the discord um knee smith over nine and a half for sap pra and then on chalkboard we have dejounte murray over one and a half three pointers made and remember guys if you guys do want to join the discord these prices will go into effect starting uh friday so you could join right now you can only get uh one month for 15 dollars if you join right now before friday uh, i'll let you guys join for only 15 bucks a month but then after that these are the new prices these are all the perks you guys can pause the video and take a look at the perks that are involved with every single membership um but yeah a lot of you guys have been joining lifetime is currently only 200 dollars until friday once friday rolls around it will be back up to 250 i've already had several of you guys join lifetime um with that new discount so i've had i've had a few of you guys join um with that discount and probably like up to 10 people i'd say eight to ten people that have joined so far with that new discount but yeah so those are the prop, props for you guys. If you guys do want to join the Discord, the link will be in the description. The link will also be in my Twitter bio, at Real Ace Picks. Go ahead and join, and then DM me on, on there, and I will get back to you as fast as I can. But yeah, those are the props for today. <clears throat> Tough beat last night with uh, Bane, but we did go live for a reason. Half a unit. It is what it is. We did cash out in the Discord like crazy, though. So remember, guys, you got to join the Discord for all the caches. We've been going crazy in the Discord. YouTube has been going crazy, too. I know we, we talked last night, only half a unit, but we've been going crazy on YouTube nonetheless. So, yeah, those are the props for today. Good luck. Leave a like. Comment down below if you're tailing and what you are tailing. Until next video, deuces.